Okay. We on. Here we go again. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to another video featuring Ben. Hello. Woof, woof. Today we have decided to do another challenge esque, fun esque challenge. <laughs> so, in the era of Zoom quizzes, these kind of games came up a lot and they're really fun. So, Ben suggested it would be a great idea as like a joint video, and I agreed. And so here we are. So basically, the concept is we take the book title and then we kind of create synonyms for the book title and then you've just got to try and figure out what the book is. So like as an example, if I said like tiny ladies, <laughs> you might say little women. Yeah, it's just a bit of fun. We'll probably get them quite quickly, but it's just fun. It's fun. That's all we need. <laughs> just keep saying it's fun. We'll it's fun. We'll convince Are you having fun? fun? <laughs> Uh, so we each have ten, and let's go, yeah. I think. Okay. Okay. Book number one. Cardiac Arrest. <laughs> I went to write this, and I thought it was too dark. <laughs> it's Heartstopper, right? It's Heartstopper I by Alice Oseman. I literally, I went, on a whole, <laughs> I went on a whole thing where I was like, oh, is that a bit too dark? Like, and then... <laughs> I also went, I went on a whole research thing, like, did defibrillators technically stop the heart? Can I just say defibrillator? Did you do the same I thing? I went on the same yeah. journey. <laughs> yeah, That's cardiac really arrest, funny. heart stopper. Heart stopper, I thought that was clever. Yeah. Um, I did think it might be a bit morbid, but fuck it. It's Christmas. It's Christmas. <laughs> okay, first one, single male dude. Single male dude. L lonely man, man. <laughs> Ah, Lonely Man Man. It's a five star read. You can mould wine. I can mould, I can mould wine it. Why can't I get it? I thought these would be so easy. I think I've got easier ones. Okay, I'm gonna mull it. Alright, give me another. Okay, <clears throat> book number two. Gyoza. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've done the same book again. Did you do this book? Is it Dumplin? It's Dumplin. Yeah. By Julie Murphy. Um, for reference, luckily I have spares. Um, for reference, mine was Floaty Studo. Floaty Studo. <laughs> I love that. I was wondering if there'd be crossover, but I think it's funny the way we took a book and then like we both go in different tangents. Yeah. I like it a lot. Uh, second one is Too Many Cats. What? A lot of an abundance of Catherines? It's a bunch of Catherines. That's yeah. so clever. <laughs> It's not that clever. It's Your like... sister's literally named Cat. Yeah, but it's clever. Okay. Number three. Number three. Grizzly Village. Bear Town. I think mine are easy. I thought I was so proud of that one because I think it's really funny. Um, I think I wrote... Mine might be easier. Did I delete that one? I must have done. So I wrote like Koala Village or something. Lol. <laughs> I think I have gone a bit harder and I thought I was going easier. <laughs> Next one is... <laughs> Next one is Daddy's Sleep Hallucinations. What? Daddy's Daddy Sleep Hallucinations. No, no, no. Dreams from My Father by yeah. Barack Obama. Yeah. <laughs> sleep Hallucinations. Do not enjoy Daddy. <laughs> okay. Yep. Book number four. The Dazzling. The, <laughs> the Dazzling. <clears throat> the Shining? Yes. The hey. Shining. I changed that word so many times. It was originally the sparkling, but I thought that was too easy. No, the sparkling I feel like would have been harder. Really? Yeah. Oh, Dazzling, <laughs> I think of, I, you think of something that's like bright, or you think of laundry detergent, like that. <laughs> uh, my next one is, the stove is turned up. I feel like it's ringing a bell and I don't know why. The stove is the oven before the coffee gets cold. <laughs> it's not that. The stove is turned up. Stove is turned up. Barry Taylor. No. That is such a niche reference. Please let me know if anyone understands it. <laughs> I just, I'm trying to think of a synonym for stove and I don't know. It may not be straight up synonym. This is why yours are harder. Yeah. I have gone straight up synonyms. Yeah. Mum? Yeah, okay. I'll mum. I'm marking them with an M. Okay. Number five. The Inconspicuous Fellow. The Invisible Man. 
by by one of two authors <laughs> um i don't actually know who the the one that you infamously read it's hg wells okay the other one is just called invisible man and that's by ralph ellison yep yeah you've uh, you've explained that before right like a while ago i don't I, know when i picked you was it the 20 second reviews when i was picking yeah the books? And then I explained it. So if you want to know what we're talking about, go watch that video. It was a dumb thing I did. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Next one is Premier Lady. Premier Lady? Yeah. Why is my head saying Loose Women? That's not a book. What? <laughs> I don't know. Because I'm thinking Lady. Premier. Like First Lady. We're not talking about Melania. Her. Becoming? No. Oh, I thought that was like way... But that, that would have been real clever. Yeah. I was real proud of this one. Like a premiere, like for a film? Initial screening lady. <laughs> what book has woman in the title? We'll come back to that one. Okay, number six. Yep. In Search of the 49th State. The 40, oh God. You made yours really hard and then you give me American history. <laughs> the 49th State, is that? Looking for Alaska. Yeah, it yeah. wasn't actually that hard. No. Yeah, nice. I love that. My next one is purple. The colour purple? No, but that yeah, that would have been that would have been really, really, really easy. <laughs> Lilac. Lavender. She's on a good train. That's all the purples. Think about some more colours. Think about colours. Red, blue and what make purple? Go back to art class. Red and blue. Red, white and royal blue? Yeah, I mean, I, right? yeah, I was, oh. I was, I was <laughs> yay! <laughs> sorry, I was googling it to work out what what would happen if you mixed red, white, and royal blue, um, and it would make like a light purple. <laughs> nice. I like that. That's very clever. Yeah, hit me. Okay, number seven, the extremely ravenous near butterfly. <laughs> An absolute classic book. Yeah. An absolute classic of a book. The very hungry caterpillar. That's correct. Do we own that book? No, I don't <laughs> think so. I like that you came into it with the idea that you were definitely going to do The Very Hungry Caterpillar. I didn't actually. I was like Googling classic books because I was like, couldn't think of books and yeah. Do you know what? I say sometimes that I don't like to read classics, but maybe I do if that's a classic. I think it is a classic. Yeah. My next one. Okay. Hyphenated queer religious text. The Buy Dash Ball. The Buy Dash Ball. The Buy Dash Ball. The Buy Dash Ball. Yes. Like it. Nice. Okay, number eight. A word of honour, area of space. Oh, what? A word of honour, area of space. Zone. Town. Is bear a word for honour? It's not bear town. We've got, we've done Grizzly Village. Ah, we've been to the Grizzly Village already. <laughs> Royalty? American Royals? No. no. Nice, that's a pretty good guess. It wasn't a good guess. You give me too much credit. Mull. Okay, mull. mull on that one. We're going to mull. Uh, Tic-tac-toe. <laughs> what? Nose and crosses? Yeah. That's great. <laughs> Tic-tac-toe. <laughs> I like that. That's funny. By Mallory. What? By Mallory. <laughs> By Mallory Blackman. <laughs> nice. Okay. Number nine. Events in the past is entirely what you set aside for me. <laughs> History is all you left me. <laughs> it's History is all you left me by Adam Silvera. That's really good. Thank you. <laughs> okay. This one, I think I'm more proud of it than it is like a good question. I understand. Used by a speaker to refer to themselves and one or more other people as the object of, of a verb or preposition. What? <laughs> Read out again. I'm loving the grammar. Used by a speaker. Yeah. To refer to themselves and one or more other people as the object of a verb or preposition. Refer to yourself and one other person. We. We were liars. No. Oh. Oh, I really thought I had it. Sorry. Good guess. <laughs> Thank you. Am I on the right track with we? Are. Not they. No. Us. Oh. Us against you? Oh, okay. Then go with the sequel. Us. Um, I can't think of any books with us. 
I'll give you a clue. Yeah, okay. Think broadly about like what the thing that I just read, what was that? Like the grammar definition. Define us? No. What is that the name of <laughs> What defines us? Is that a book name? <laughs> You're just like trying to create a YA novel name now. <laughs> The definition of us. The definition of us. That's a book. That's a book. It has an orange cover. Yeah, it's in our lounge. I can't remember who it's by. I can't remember who it's by either. One moment. Oh, that's so it's clever. Literally the... You googled the definition of us. Also, <laughs> I I definitely changed him or herself to them themselves. Yeah. Of the shit. Who's it by? Sarah Harris. By Sarah Harris. That's a good one. I really like that one. Even though it took me ages to get. Um, this is the last one I've got. Although we do have a few bonus ones, if. My bonus what? ones are gone because oh. I had Floaty Studio and Koala Village. <laughs> well, I have a few bonus ones you can have because you can get them quite. Actually, quick. I do have I do have one bonus one. Tell a lie. Okay, we'll do a few bonus. Okay, number ten, infectious flames. Infectious flames. Yeah. Coronavirus fire. No. <laughs> well. Am I on the right track with, like, virus? No. Okay. So yeah, that's fine of mine. <laughs> with the fire on high. Um, no. <laughs> I'm trying to think of all books that have something to do with fire in them. Good ways length. Trouble is, I don't think I don't think any authors have ever made that, because I can't think of any. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't know it, so it doesn't exist. That's a mole. No, that's a mole. Okay, so we're at the end. I've got some that I've mulled on. Oh, yeah. That's the small. Yeah. Um, which ones did you mull on? Oh yeah, the single male dude. Oh yeah. We're going into clue territory. Tell you what, you've got the definition of us by the cover. It's a yellow cover. Convenience store women. It's not that. I saw that. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't look to camera as if I was in fucking Parks and Rec. <laughs> That's not happening. Single male dude. Alone. Single. Solo. <laughs> it is a book that has a heavy focus on food. One Man Guy. One Man Guy. By Michael Barakiva. Okay. Uh, that's a great book. It is a great book. Uh, so one of the ones you've mulled, A Word of Honour, Area of Space. Uh, oh, jeez. Um, a Word of Honour. So A Word of Honour, are you thinking like, night? No. Honour. I clearly have no honour, because I don't... Royalty? No, you're not, on, you're not in the right. Go away from that. Okay, I'm going to focus on the second half. Like we're playing charade today. Nice. Zone. <laughs> no. Town. No. A is it area spaces in space? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm going all over the shit. Um, uh, all over the shop here. Do you know I actually have do you want a clue? Yeah, give me a clue. We this author we've spoken about. Here's what they they've already. <laughs> Um, been in this video. They've already been in this video? Yeah. When you said they, is that their pronouns or were you trying to disguise the fact you said he? That I was trying to disguise the So, fact. okay. He. It's a male person. We've got John Green. We've got Barack Obama. Okay, those are the only men. Oh, my. Oh, and Alan Barakiba. Um, Michael Barakiba. Michael Barakiba. Who's Alan? <laughs> I said Adam because I was oh. thinking of Adam Samara. Which apparently Adam Samara just keeps coming up. I he don't does. Know. Unless, pa unless paper is a word of honour, it's not going to be a, a John Green book. Um, yeah, no. <laughs> Do you want another clue? Yeah. Okay. The They are not primarily an author. So it could be a Barack Obama book, but it's not. Is it? Because it's not the Audacity of Hope. Oh. What's this new book called? <laughs> What's this new book called? I really want to read it, but it's like 30 quid. Um, the Promised Land. Yes, A Promised Land. A Promised Land. Word nice. Of area of space. Nice. Yes. Nice, cool. Um, you had another mole. Yeah. Um, the stove is turned up. Oh, yeah. Do you need a quick? Yeah, I do. Emphasis on stove. But you said it wasn't a synonym. For stove. It's kind of, it's not necessarily a synonym in the title, but it's like, oh, it's really hard to describe. Is it with the fire on high? It's with the fire on high, yeah. Oh, I just suddenly rang a bell and you also mentioned it a minute ago yeah. by Elizabeth Acevedo. Yeah, with the fire yeah, on the high. Yeah, fire. 
I was trying to think of a way to like describe it with like an actual fire gas stove <laughs> originally <laughs> or like hot hob hot uh, hob <laughs> it wasn't gonna work um that's really good also i think when i was thinking of it i had that in my head but i didn't do you know what, what i mean hob? when you know that there's a book that kind of references something but you just yeah. it's just not there yeah. yeah with the fire on high nice okay your last one uh, you're mulling infectious flames infectious flame okay clue me up okay it is blues clues of a series. That's a pretty good clue. It's a pretty big clue, actually. Of a catching fire. Yeah. Did you just see Mockingjay right there? No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought Infectious was a bit of a weird yeah. synonym, even though it is a good, it is a synonym. Yeah. Hi. So we were just looking back on this video and realised that we never came back to Premier Lady. Yeah. I still don't know what it is. Um. So I need a clue. Thanks, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Um, okay, a clue. Think of, run through some definitions of what, what does your brain think of when you think of premiere? Cinemas and films. Okay. Premiere, sorry. I just said premiere. Yeah. Okay. Cinemas and films, is that not right? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> okay. Like a, f or first. No. Any other definitions? <laughs> premiere. No. No? No. No? Nothing else that premiere could refer to? Premiere. Okay. Oh, expensive? No. Like pre oh, that's premium. <laughs> I've, got, I've gone too weird with this one, I definitely. Um, Give me another clue. There's one of these at the top of town. Oh. Oh, wait. Oh my god, no, wait. This is C Convenience Store Woman. Yeah, it's Convenience Store Woman. <laughs> I worked in a premiere. I should have got that. <laughs> For me, I was like, there must have not been premieres where, where you grew up. No, I you worked, worked in, in one. <laughs> That's good, I like that. Premier lady, convenience store woman. How did that not click even when I guessed that book? Anyway, that was good. Yeah. Addendum added. Um, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye. Merry Christmas. Bye. <laughs> what? I feel like we've burned through them quite quickly, so I'm, I'm happy to take some of your bonus ones. Okay, I, I scrapped these because I didn't think they were as good, so I think you'll get them quite quickly. Let me just get up Google Docs on my mobile telephone. <laughs> No. Okay, here are some quick bonus ones. We're just gonna go like okay. this. Okay, number one. Lightning round. Home animal graveyard. Pet cemetery. Yes. Eternity boy child. Infinity sun. Yes. Flames and rage. Fire and fury. Yes. The diamond shaped fast walker. <laughs> you haven't read this book. That's a, a the diamond shaped book. fast walker. I was actually quite proud of this. I should have included it. What's diamond shaped? A diamond? Something runner. Yes. Blade runner. <laughs> you mentioned it on your channel. No, I don't think so. But it exists in It's my quite like iconic vicinity. classic. I read it in like year 11. I have it in my head, but I can't think what the other word is. Children play with these. Slide runner. <laughs> in the air. Kite runner. Yes, the kite runner. Um, the harmony of cockerels and adders. I don't know if you'll know. Oh, a ballad of songbird and snakes. Yes. Yeah. That was nice. it. That was all the ones I got. I had one more bonus one that I also rejected because I didn't think it was good enough. Um, it was spider card game. Spider card game? I guess this depends on how much time you spent on PCs in like the early 2000s. Wait, what do you mean? Do you ever play? Do you ever play any games on like old computers? Yeah, I used to play Minesweeper and Mahjong. <laughs> <laughs> was... Wasn't expecting Mahjong. <laughs> well, did you play any card games? Like Solitaire. It... Oh, like, like Solitaire, yeah. Oh, is it Solitaire by Alice Oseman? <laughs> it is. You never played Spider Solitaire because Spider Solitaire slapped. I don't even know what that is. I shouldn't say slapped. I'm twenty five years old. Spider Solitaire was great. I'll see if I can find it on. What is the Ooh. difference? Between that I think it was just easier, which is probably why I liked it more as a kid. Because you, if you didn't have to like, I don't think you had to match up like the colours. You could just like right. go fucking rogue. But yeah, Spider Solitaire. Okay. A banger. That's good. I liked it. This um, was fun. This was fun. That was a real quick like, but like a little bit of Christmas fun. Yeah. Um, Merry Christmas. I feel like I would post this near to Christmas. Yeah. If Merry not, Christmas. This will get cut. <laughs>
I mean, if you, you, you have to post it at the very least in December because, I mean... Yeah, this is like forcing myself to get on with editing. <laughs> yeah. Hope everyone has a great Christmas. Yeah. Um, and of course, anything else, if you celebrate anything else. Yes. And thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in a new video. Bye. <laughs>